YouTube, welcome into another video. It's been over a year since we last watched a Maxor video, and it was the Genshin Impact one. I'm sure you all remember it. Sensory Overload, absolutely hilarious, incredible. And he uploaded another one today. This will probably be on YouTube tomorrow, because I don't usually like uploading reactions to something that's just dropped, unless it's like, you know, Genshin official stuff. So you'll probably be seeing this on the 17th, but I did want to watch this. I've had a lot of people message me already telling me to watch it, and I honestly don't know what to expect. Is this like an updated version? It's called Genshin Impact is a playable anime, and I guess there's no better time like the present to just jump into it. This video is a, a cry for help. Genshin oh, Impact is a playable anime, and that's pretty good since my videos are attempts to make watchable anime. I can't believe it, guys. They made a sequel to Stockholm Syndrome. Welcome to the- I see the sensory overload hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> World of Teyvat. You may have heard of it from all the free advertising that I'm doing. A beautiful post-apocalyptic oh, nightmare world featuring a giant tree. No, that's Elden Ring. Sorry, that's the wrong game. <laughs> On our journey throughout the seven nations, we will meet the world's most colorful cast of children. Entrusted and empowered oh, by on. the gods to wield elemental energy as dangerously as possible. I'm just a big fan of the characters in this game. There is no reason in particular. Assemble your team of the, heroic I mean, the characters are great, and begin dude. blasting, boating, cooking your enemies alive, visiting baby's first casino, and with enough time, it will become baby's last casino. But most importantly, so. have fun, because the game will try to stop you. I can assure you that the visual novels are- He's not wrong about that. Have fun because the game will try to stop you, whether it's with resin or limited type stuff. They're exactly what Da Wei intended. So join me as I navigate one of the most beautiful, fantastical, and expensive game worlds ever made. One agonizing country at a time. This is it, guys. This sure. is what $900 million can buy you. Are you having fun yet? Look, all I'm trying to say is, uh, this is a weird episode of Ava. Oh, the music did. Oh my god, the editing. Oh, what an intro, dude. Yo, that editing was sick. Wow, I haven't been here in uh, two years. Oh my god, that was two years ago? Welcome back to Mondstadt. And yes, the game still displays your IP address, just in case you're a little <laughs> bit too critical. This place is where the player learns how to fight, learns how to kill innocent animals, <laughs> learns that they are bisexual as soon as they see Kaya. So I think it's a absolutely based, dude. Absolutely based! Great opportunity to teach the basics, and uh, nothing else. The environment here looks like it shares a polygon. I think a good place to start is with our team, the Fuelgenisaria. Official, every crew got the so schizophrenic, personality disorder, mentally and physically deranged, wife material. I'm uh, serious about that. There's a quest huh? where you enter her mind and she Special? fights her tulpa. End user license agreement. Literally the only physical DPS. Possibly racist. Has the biggest slappy in Teyvat. Sangu... Sangu... Cock. And Rosaria, Cock. who is dressed promiscuously, so we need to cover her up in appropriate garments. God, I wish nuns were real. With our team assembled, we're now able to do nothing because I haven't explained the game. Genshin Impact they is are. a based character RPG where each character wields one of the seven elements, all of them interacting completely nonsensically. Water buffs fire. Ice freezes water. Plus Lights buff electricity, a fucking gas leak. Dendro requires nine tabs of Khan Academy. My team is based on not playing the game as much as possible. There is genuinely no cooldown to freeze. By the way, what I'm showing okay, you now is okay. considered tame. The game is actually supposed to look some mentally deranged. The numbers are helping me to understand what's happening. Of course, some characters are bad, and others are very bad, but many are absolutely Wait. game- Okay, I get Chi Chi. I mean, I've seen. I understand Chi Chi because it's a meme. Bro, I've seen some cracked Ning Wangs. Some cracked. Ning Wangs. Game changing. The of course, some characters are bad, and others are very bad, but many are absolutely game changing. There are characters that straight up allow me to fly, at least sure. through uh, regular means. This one fights with a pogo stick, and this one doesn't fight at all. My cock's crit rate is negative 87. The game also allows us to choose from a lot of weapons. I think I have a few copies, each one with their own properties and substats. Jesus Sometimes Christ. too many substats. Like, goddamn, I'm fighting with a Wikipedia page. <laughs> We've got bows, spears, paddles. I find that with fish, a lot of artifacts. Umbrella, child's bomb instructions. I hope you can yep. see why there's a lot of variation and also theory crafting a lot of chinese theory crafting they take this game very seriously like right outside of a kfc seriously and if you're wondering oh my about god the i've never seen well, that we'll get to it later oh, i no. have a lot to say about it but the gotcha now, welcome to the land of the anemo god who is a twink that gets kicked in the balls yes he is we love Vanny. These guys, uh, 
I'm really jamming out. No, chat, I'm not going to do that. Yoinky Splinky. Oh my god, he just doesn't give a fuck. So what if I just, uh... Oh no, he can't be stopped. Well, I guess if <laughs> you can't beat him, Mondstadt is a depopulated anarchist state where there are no taxes, no police, and half the country is controlled by wolves. Wolves that you uh, never actually see, unless you want to count Razor. I mean, there's the giant wolf, but he's kind of special. You see so? Uh, You're just gonna progress. What's the dog doing? As a result of this, nobody in Mondstadt has any money. Except for the church, of course. The city is undergoing a crippling wine epidemic. Look, I, I just think it's a serious funding issue when the cavalry captain doesn't have a horse. Therefore, most of your time is going to be spent cleaning up their mess. Their singular mess. Because there is only one enemy in Mondstadt. Yes, from the beautiful ruins of old to the peaks of Dragonspine, 90% of the enemies you encounter are Hillagerals, a sentient race capable of empathy and complex thoughts. Which is why they must be destroyed. Literally take a random location in Mondstadt. You are after the Karaba quest, the, after the Karaba and all of the, the Chasm stuff and Enkotomia stuff, I can't look at Hillichurls the scene. Yeah, I actually kind of feel bad killing them sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. 10 seconds away from a Hillichurl. Well, why is that one unbirthing itself? Really cool that the only organization in Mondstadt is dedicated to race war. They even have their own language, which I'm being quizzed on. Honestly, I'm a bit of a oh, yay yeah. gotta man myself. Must. Really feeling that muhu yay today. Don't say <laughs> Nini Zito, it's basically a slur. They uh, well, didn't like that. Look, what oh, I'm trying to God. say is this place has problems, but ultimately, they are cool problems. Mondstadt may not be that varied, well-designed, or even have a story that I can't summarize in one sentence. The dragon was mean, and then he was nice. Sun Tzu. But ultimately, this is just the beginning of a long, long journey. This game is planned out uh, seven years in advance, so as far as the basics go, there is no better team. Dude, that still blows my mind that it's that far in advance. Also, I love Mondstadt. Mondstadt's probably my favorite region because it feels like home. I, I adore Mondstadt. Yeah, this game is planned out uh, seven years in advance, so as far as the basics go, there is no better teacher than Mondstadt, but uh, pretty much just the basics. I don't think I'm staying for the boss fights. Understandable, honestly. I, what is happening? What the fuck am I seeing? Dragon nuts. <laughs> okay, can you stop playing for a sec? No. <laughs> no. I need to go to my teapot! <laughs> Kick him out. Go to the depot. <laughs> For the next oh, stop on our War Crimes Tour of the Balkans, we're heading to the Funny Nation. Post about this nation to instantly gain Reddit karma. And for that, what? we're going to need to climb as high as we can so we can deduce the direction. So, uh, we're going to this location on the map. If only there it's was a way. better way to view the world. Make sure to land on the elevator. Next, we're going to, uh... <laughs> Shit, we're going to, uh... Wait, I One second. Seen this. We're going to ascend to space. I do. Uh, why does that work like that? Oh my God! The planet's receding. I am alone in this hell on Earth. Is that still in the game? I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. That's you gonna know, be it's patched. really bad when the moon is physically below you. Hang on, guys. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm just gonna uh, change the time real quick. <laughs> yeah, the game lets you do that. <laughs> well, folks, it was nice knowing you all. <laughs> Never mind. Survive. It is necessary. I'm kind of excited to see what he says hey about guys, Sumeru, but... Here. And welcome to, um, China. It's just China. Zhaoshang Haozhong Wo, Shanzai, Woyo, Bing Chiling, Wuhan Shihuan, Bing Chiling. I really hope I didn't just tank my social credit. In our previous Bing adventures, Chilling. we explored Mondstadt to learn the basic mechanics. And also, um race relations. So for Li Wei, we're going to learn that we've been playing the game wrong. But before I can get to that, I need what? to explain my team. I call it the hot shower by force. Lord knows we need it. Hot Xi shower Xi by force. Xi Jinping. Yes, this is a man. I know it's hard to tell. He is also ridiculously broken on account of his ability to make enemies wet. Interpret True. that information however you want. Hu Tao is the owner of a funeral parlor, and she could use a bit of new business. She is also the winner of the most terrifying Sims award. Like, the thread just doesn't end. He's still writing them. Most oh my god, I saw I saw that. I saw that on Twitter. The hundred, the hundred tweet thread of why someone loves Hu Tao, and I genuinely couldn't tell if it was satire. I, I, Oh, I didn't make it through the whole thing, but I don't know. The reasonable Hu Tao made. Yalan is a character that I play for the personality. She Same. is also one of the most overpowered units in the game because she's True. a second Xing Show. I don't even care that she's a federal psyop. I can fix her. <laughs> and Toba, who is the fucking spell She can fix just, you. Uh, just, just don't build Toba. With our team assembled, we're now able to trivialize the combat because. I hate how true it is, dude. I hate how true it is. I mean, you build who you want, but yeah, I don't know, dude. Toba, I can fix her. And Toba, Sag. who is 
You fucking spelled wrong. Just a, just, just don't build Toba. With our team assembled, we are now able God to it. trivialize the combat because this team is ridiculous. But fortunately, Genshin is not just a game about combat. It's a game about gambling. You see, Genshin oh, no. Impact is what we call a gotcha game because it has got me in its grasp, which means that the primary game mechanic is chance. Every character is chance. Every weapon is chance. Every piece of every build is fucking chance. Do you know what it's like to have a mathematically impossible goblet? God damn elite. Yes. Hey, so I see you're trying to level up your crit rate. Well, that's a weird way to spell defense. But fortunately, uh, we can predict the outcomes of our character roles using some Eastern philosophies. And the answer is, um, the artifacts, on though. But don't worry, you've got a lot of time. Uh, yeah. I, I guess we're gonna wait a day. Or two. Oh, dead. <laughs> because only a few five stars are actually available. And sometimes they aren't available for 483 days. She is in. No way that's how long Eula hasn't had a banner in. Way. Oh my god, it probably is. It's been like, yeah, it's been a year and a few months. Oh my god. Five stars are actually available. And sometimes they aren't available for 483 days. She is in prison for racism. But what are they going to do? Lock me up? Jesus. So naturally, we need to feed our gambling addiction get at, it. at any cost. And there's a few ways to do that. You could explore more, go on fantastic adventures, or find amazing treasures. True. If you want to stay poor. No. You see, the real money is made in the daily quests, which are a series of useful and normal missions, such as talking to people, murdering those people, talking to the hillagers very nicely. Murdering the hillagers. <laughs> where do you go? And ju jumping on mushrooms. Who the fuck commissioned me to do this? <laughs> we also have the power to send various That's characters a good question. on 20 our expeditions. Who created that commission? Mines. Look, guys, I really need these 2,000 upgrade materials. It's just a... Hey, people said I had too many when I had, like, 2,500. After, like, four weapon level ups, I've got, like, less than 400 now. Uh, you can never have too many. Uh, best you don't think about it too hard. Greetings, sure. traveler. Uh -huh. At Astra Abyssal, okay. what can I do for you today? Yeah, I'd like to, uh, Who's send a child to that? the coal mines. What? Put her in for 20 hours. But, traveler, she's going to die. The lithium is not going to mine itself, Catherine. But... But traveler! Do not question me, Catherine, or I'll have you stabbed in a future quest. Jesus Christ! Oh god, okay. Leeway is an authoritarian Dude. militaristic oligarchy controlled by a committee of really hot lesbians. I believe in Ganyu supremacy. This nation is the land of contracts, and by entering, you have made the contract to not criticize the state. Consequently, Leeway is These also where all so money is clean. printed on the planet. So, uh, I guess Monstat's economy is powered by hopes and dreams. And also, uh, the card game. Look, Timmy, I know your dad's oh, dead and all, but... Do you want to play Gwent? A minor side effect of this is that Leeway is in the midst of a violent crime epidemic. As in, the majority of enemies in Leeway are human. And even worse, they're poor. So poor, in fact, that they're forced to fight you with Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. Sure. What is, what is your plan, my guy? The masculine urge to dig a hole. The road By the way, we're the good guys. Speaking of digging holes, I should probably address this. It's a little difficult to ignore. You see, there are many beautiful oh, places castle. to see in Leeway, such as Night City, the fucking rice fields, the most annoying place to navigate on the earth like please stop giving me commissions here and then i had i 100 percent had a lot of areas in leo way and minlin was the bane of my existence and i don't think i ever want to go back after 100 percent in minlin rice fields <laughs> the most annoying place to navigate on the earth like please stop giving me commissions here and then we have the chasm which is a secret underground labyrinth containing all of the game's eldritch horrors and yes this is yep. just the entrance to the chasm yeah, there's no sound effect for that. If you die down here, no one will hear your screams. As Jesus. soon as you think you're done exploring, it just it just keeps going down. It Dems does. had to add moon shoes to the game so I can keep playing it. Now that we're trapped down here, we only have two options remaining. We need to mine and we need to craft. Yeah, they also added wonder so you can just fly around. around later. Okay, so now it's later. Unfortunately, okay. I cannot craft a sense of humor. Look, what I'm trying to say is Leeway is a very diverse place. It's certainly more diverse than Hillitrill Field Number 6. But most importantly, Leeway is a land of questions. What secrets lie in this mysterious land? What adventures are still to be had? Am I gay now? It's almost enough to make you forget the nightmare pit. And look, Good Leeway questions. might have a few issues with organized crime, sea monster attacks. It happens twice. And the landscape always trying to kill me. But hey, it does happen twice. Up. It's okay. Can anyone, can anyone here tell me why, why, why? Like there's a, <laughs> why there's like a giant bird next to me. It's weird. I thought the story of Lee was really good, dude. I I always say this, but my my one moment in Genshin which got me super super hooked on the game, and I was like, oh god, this is like way better than I ever thought it would be, was uh the 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 end of the big fight with Os Island, the uh, Leoa Archon quest. Oh fuck, where am I? <laughs> Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. <laughs> Okay, the OSTs are too good. What's up? 
gang? It's me, Arataki Ito. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta say that again. Wait a minute. What's up, gang? It's me, Arataki Ito. What? Is this how you transition it in a Zuma? <laughs> <laughs> you just turned into Klee? What is happening? <laughs> okay, that's. Yeah, okay, that was the way to okay, go to guys, listen, We need to reach Japan. Don't worry, I have a plan to bypass immigration. We are going to walk there. Yes, oh, that's right. We're going to... Excuse me. We're going to travel underneath the ocean. So apparently I just have to... Um... Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a fun one, actually. I like this glitch. That actually worked? Okay, yeah. I think I've... Uh... Made a mistake. It's time to descend into the abyssal zone. Go to side. Watch out for the void. Uh... What do I do about this? So I think I've been walking for, uh... 20 minutes. Oh my god. Can you actually get to- I don't to... like this anymore. Okay, we're pretty close now, so, um... Oh my god! I don't think we're close enough. Please no, please no, please no. Oh. I just- How am I driving there? Jesus Christ! Relatable, honestly. What is up, my thadies and gentle vamps? Welcome to the land of Inazuma, a home to nobody because no one is properly housed in Inazuma. Previously, Monsat taught us how to play, and Li Wei taught us how to simp. Well, the land of and Inazuma taught us how to not feel welcome. <laughs> Lighting is here to teach us that we have not felt true pain yet. But first, let's go over our team, which I will be calling the uh, Yandere Benzos. Yaiviko, <laughs> Mommy, sorry, Sigma female, kidnapped okay. a man and force feminized him. God, I wish that was me. Traveler, I'm making a call out post to my Twitter.com. What the fuck are you saying? I'm gonna piss on the fuck. Bruce, you can literally <laughs> okay. name him Bruce. That is actually how it appears in game. In fact, I we can name him all kinds of things, such as Baby Girl, Dr. Ligma, Wobuja Dashogwa, Ballfart, Testicles, what is that? And last but not least, Hokushish, Hatsune Miku. This is literally just Miku. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. And Bennett, who is the single most overpowered unit in the game. Like, Genshin doesn't have power creep because of Bennett. Send this bitch to the coal mines and have his testicles exploded. Now, my Jesus Christ, Christ. Is, they were kind of nice. But this time, I'm Maxwell. not playing nice. I'm playing for funny numbers. Every single member is optimized beyond the boundaries of reason. I rolled six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It up uh, cost fifty dollars. Also, Bruce can up. Uh... Bro, excuse. Okay. I didn't get C6, but what? I'm playing for funny numbers. Every single member is optimized beyond the boundaries of reason. I rolled six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It up uh, cost $50. Also, Bruce can up uh, fly, like actual flight. It breaks like half the game's AI when you do it. They're just very confused. <laughs> My entire team is him shooting down at the peasants like an attack helicopter. Just uh, don't ask you do me, me an AC-130. I had to grind for this view. <laughs> Dude, this editing. Oh. Hang on a fucking second. She's wearing socks in the water. Oh, There's no. Something is horribly wrong with this country. <laughs> the socks. Inazuma is a third world isolationist dictatorship, mostly occupied by catastrophic disasters, both natural and man made. But mostly man made. Oh, Me and the fellas watching Oppenheimer in the IMAX. Inazuma is also engulfed in a decades long civil war, resulting in mass unemployment and a refugee crisis. Naturally, this is reflected in the enemy variety, because to visit Inazuma is to be accosted by hundreds of jacked homeless people. Like these guys just stand in the rain all day. How do the hill trolls have more shelter than this? It is also a land of many islands, which all act as their own individual insurgencies. So I think this is a great opportunity to educate you as to why you should never visit Inazuma. You know, besides uh, the fucking puzzles. This shit is the, the puzzles work of Satan. So Narugami Dead. Island is the only place in Inazuma resembling a civilization. The rest is basically just Martin Luther King Boulevard. The only disaster this island has to worry about is the government, and her name is the Raiden Shogun. Kanazuka is the first yep. island to be made uninhabitable by nuclear weapons testing, which then proceeds to leak out of the elephant's foot in an amount so dangerous it makes Chernobyl look like Clown College. I mean, I guess there's also the Kujo encampment, but uh, it was kind of rough. The Kujo encampment. Wait, why? I did. Well, that's enough of that. Wait, why? Wait a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like Elden Ring did. Yashiori is oh, an the music? nightmare on account of the non-stop lightning storm and a uh, slightly imposing giant skull. My yeah, I, I still haven't cleared the lightning storm and I've been playing for like a year and a half at this point. I, I don't know. My favorite activity I, is up. Uh, I like this it. Place. It fun. limits the land the lightning can strike, so it just fucking whacks you. Looks like another <laughs> beautiful day in the great land of Inazuma. Of course, I could fix the problem if I wanted to, but when I began the quest to remove the lightning, I was struck by it. I'm gonna take that as a sign from God. Seirai Island is what happens when Mr. Beast donates 50 megatons of ionizing radiation to family Sabine. Like, this Jesus shit makes Christ. Evangelion look like a comedy special. The fact that there aren't even homeless people here probably tells you all 
all you need to know. Surumi Island is a very isolated place. Oh, it's so good, for thousands though. of years by bird-worshipping savages who need their mineral resources exploited. President Biden, please send Raytheon missiles so I can buy just Sawney water and Cheetos. Oh I just God. think it has something to do with the, uh, interdimensional dog. Watatsumi Island <laughs> yes. is... Really yes, the interdimensional dog. I think it has something to do with the, uh, interdimensional dog. Watatsumi Island is... Really nice. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Does this it's even beautiful. count as an island? It's just so beautiful. I sure hope it's not hiding some kind of horrifying dark secret. <laughs> oh. Economia <laughs> is fucking Atlantis. You get there by jumping into the giant hole, and it's like, how is this legal? Yep, Are the, the developers okay? This place was once home to a thriving civilization, which collapsed nearly instantly after they discovered TikTok. It also allows me to toggle the <laughs> powers of the artificial sun. And, uh, holy shit, this 5G connection is crazy. Look, I think you've got the idea at this point. As much as I've talked about reactions and, uh, children, Genshin Impact at its core is an exploration game, because it makes yep. you explore your sexuality, and that fact <laughs> alone makes Inazuma one of the best areas. If you don't count the story, please kill me, mommy, I've been a bad boy. And okay, okay this nation yeah. might be lacking in housing, basic infrastructure, and some unbombed land. But honestly, that's just part of the rustic charm. How else do you think this island got a giant crater? Just uh, be glad you True. don't have to live in Inazuma. It's all fun and games until you piss off the geometry. <laughs> Still one of the most annoying bosses in my opinion. Wow, no words about Senor, huh? I'm curious about Matt's all thoughts. Hi guys, it's me, Goro. Goro, oh, is that peanut butter? <laughs> what the fuck? I love Goral. I also love peanut butter. Okay, Sumeru time. This will be interesting. I have a feeling Matt's already enjoy Sumeru right, a lot. Fellas, for our next stop, we're going to enter the weed land. We need to smoke that Zaza and fall unconscious. And to do that, all we have to do is not be stuck in Inazuma. So if you're True. a fan of our undersea adventure, then don't worry. This glitch is much worse. All we've got to do is, uh... What? Whatever that was. I can't let go of the W button, by the way. Get ready to receive some holy spirit. Uh, okay, so we're just we're just going down to we're, we're going to we're going to Silent Hill now. Sorry guys, Wait. it looks like we're uh, approaching meltdown. I've never seen hey, this. What's up, guys? It's me, Maxo. Uh, one second, guys. My mom's calling me. Uh, I've hey, never Bob, seen this one glitch. Second, I'm flying to get that Zaza. What does that mean? It means I'm low-key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish you were normal. Okay, uh, <laughs> where are we dropping, boys? Uh, no! Oh, yeah, I'm landing. Was that Yai level 31 or am I blind? What does that mean? It means I'm low key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish 81. You were normal. Okay, uh, where are we dropping, boys? I was gonna say that'd be impressive to get this far with Yai. Perfect landing. Dude, this must have taken so long to edit. My god. Hey there, my little Genshits. Welcome to the land of Sumeria, as in Sumeru. Hittite jump scare. The only nation in Genshin Impact that can use the internet, mostly for racism. Good to see that nothing's Jesus changed. Christ. It is also um, absurdly gigantic. Like, the maps can't huge. even see all of it. But before we can get into the intricacies of Sumerian society, I have to explain my team. The, uh, the kindergarten. Nahida is... <laughs> I can explain. My girl is 10, but she is 10. Nahida is the literal god of knowledge. If you count knowledge as the personal thoughts of every NPC in Sumeru, which she can read, even when I log into Discord, there's no escaping her. Oh my fucking god, they're still typing it. How many emotes do these people have? Does watching you count as a hobby? What? I've actually been watching you for a long time already. Excuse me, what? Nilu has it's a horror game. hollow skull. There is nothing happening inside her head. She could not pass an eye exam. Sanginomiya Koko... What? Wait a minute. I've seen you before. But fellas, I've got something to admit. You see, Kokomi's damage scales on health. Her healing scales on health. And yes, even her health scales on health. So yep. naturally, when it came time to build her, I um, used the wrong stat. It makes the numbers funnier. Oh. Yao Yao is very cute and buddy. Her playstyle is chill and relaxing. In Wait, fact, that's actually you don't a sick even have team. to play as Yao Yao. You play as her artificial beast given life. It uh, throws vegetables at them. Yay. How many people would you kill for Yao Yao is not the right question. The right question is how many people I would allow to live. Personally, I think this team is really good for not having a DPS. And we are going to need it for all the funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Because, dear viewer, I... As much as I dislike Nilu's playstyle and restrictions, uh, I would be a fool to deny that she's incredibly strong. And that team that he is using is really goddamn good. Especially with Coco as he and 
driver. And we are going to need Pretty it for good. all the funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Because, dear viewer, I, I love that beetle you. event. The best way to make money is not actually the Weasel mini game. It is participating <gasps> in temporary event oh, content, you? which sure. I can only describe as punishment for developers who are too insane. Event content such as Prop Hunt, a game where you disguise yourselves as various household items to escape the wrath of very stupid people. Oh god, I think he's got a whiff. <laughs> wow, guys, this is just like Genshin Impact. Yeah, but uh, I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? I think it's about time Wait. that I show off my... To see tits? Just like Genshin Impact. Yeah, but I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? I think it's about time that I show off my winning strategies. Fellas, I've got a good... I prefer my version. Good feeling about this one. All we've got to do is, uh... Yep. Next, you gotta... <laughs> you gotta do this. He will never find me this way. That was a good spot. Did, does oh. he know? Oh my god, he doesn't know. <laughs> Wait a second, no. All right, fellas, I got a plan for this map. He knew. We're just gonna stand here. He has no clue. I, I can't. Why is it working like this? I'm sorry, guys. Looking up is really hard. I am torturing this man. You could say that he's uh, that he's among us. We also have event yeah, content pretty like good. the boat oh, minigame. This would annoy me, but it was so fun. much fun with the boat minigame. The Pokemon tournament arc. Die. That was good. What is happening on my screen? Does that <laughs> man have a fucking gun? The yes. beetle cockfighting. I've always wanted to beat a child. And... <laughs> Okay, dude. One of my favorite events. I actually really enjoyed the beetle fight. I don't know why. It was just, it was simple, but it was fun to get like the timings and stuff down. I really enjoyed that it. That man have a fucking gun. The book beetle cockfighting. <laughs> I've always wanted to beat a child. And my personal favorite, Chinese so New Year, because it makes me the most money. Just uh, don't look up any of the cutscenes. What the fuck? You know, Hu Tao, I think you've got some hidden talent. Please keep it hidden. That rap wasn't released. It fucking escaped. It wasn't that bad. It's funny. Jesus. Oh, oh. Kai, you gotta watch out, buddy. You're, you're fucking, you're rolling to the ragging too much. This is, uh, this is Dea after too much caffeine. Kai, you gotta watch out, buddy. You're, you're fucking, you're rolling to the ragging too much. <laughs> Sumeru is an autocratic Orwellian surveillance state with a little hint of apartheid, governed by the oh, worst God. organization imaginable. University. This nation is the land of knowledge, with most of it being devoted to new, more efficient ways to be racist. And to that end, Sumeru is segregated between two distinct parts, each with their own unique ways to kill you. But the the forest wall. is a terrifying safari hellscape, where each animal is not only able to kill you, but is evolved to. We've got tigers, cows, crocodiles, <laughs> robot dinosaur, f fungus dinosaur. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And my favorite animal type. Bro, I just realized as well, sorry for pausing so much, but this had to have taken so long to edit because it looks like he's actually doing all of the stuff that's in the video so this is from events that was so long ago like the uh the taking photos event in sumeru where the, with the animals attacking and stuff dude this is impressive poor people but most importantly the forest is where the white people live and they're filling the library with video essays this is the academia <laughs> who controls subaru by spreading misinformation on the internet raiden the sure. academia doesn't want you to know this but you can steal ducks from the public park they're free raiden the desert is a desolate abandoned wasteland once home to a thriving civilization before the Caucasoids built a giant wall between them does does anyone else think this is weird we've got scorpions we've got scorpions. Got on. welcome to jurassic hell we've got the uh the Dorito. Never mind. So is he gonna like a? Uh... Okay. And we've got worm demons. But my personal oh, favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fuck off laser. There are of course <laughs> even more enemies, but most of them are just liberal propaganda to make you believe that race mixing is a physical need. And fellas, it's working. But hey, the Wait, desert is not that bad. I didn't even understand that. You ignore the racist genie quest. The motherfucker graduated from casual to competitive racism. All right, Jesus later, Max. Christ. What? Wait. I what? gotta go AFK real quick. The, no! You can't do this to me! What just happened? Look, the point is, Subaru is massive, and it's not even done. And also, Leeway isn't done. And also, Mondstadt. Yeah. But what Subaru does Nothing's have is done. an actually good story. Like, out of all the things Bro. I expected, Harvard building an Evangelion was not one of them. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here the right now! You I would kill to have this kind of voice lighting catch it, dude. Oh, it was just as like a, a, a fandom that you could actually play through. Dude, that'd be so funny. Gillian was not one of them. You can't tell me what to do anymore, Mom. I'm finally inside of another man. Huh? I am the all-knowing god. Jesus Christ, they really made this boss fight. Mobile game, by the way. So when yep. you're exploring deep in the woods at 4 a.m., finding amazing oases, gotta sure hope nothing whimsical happens here. <laughs> fighting more minorities. I'm trying to be a police officer. Or doing the <laughs> eight-hour gnome people quest. That is a, a, that is a lot of side quests.
Bro, eight hour is generous. There will always be a new surprise in Sumeru. And if future content is even a fraction as good as this, then I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Because, you know, I wasn't doing that already. Aw, dude. You know, okay, I'll say that, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts out of the video, but I actually find this kind of video really cute in a, in a weird way. Need the editing. What the fuck? Sido? Sido, where are you going? <laughs> this man is fucking tweaking out right now. God damn. What a well edited masterpiece, dude. Is there more? Please say there's more. You know what, guys? Before I go, I want to give you all a fun tip that most Genshin players don't know. Oh, God. The age of consent is 18 years old. A shoulder for the Absolutely incredible, dude. Hey, it's me. Uh, I just gotta say, dude. Okay, first of all, what a well-edited video. Maxor absolutely outdid himself with this. That was incredible. I, I look forward to Maxor videos because they aren't often, but when they come, they hit you hard. You know, they're really well-edited. They're masterpieces. Honestly, when Maxor made the first video, I didn't know if he actually played Genshin, right? I was still fairly new. I didn't know if he played the game or if he was just making a funny video or anything, but now that I see this, it's quite clear that he enjoys Genshin and the story and stuff and it's uh it's refreshing it's refreshing to see this type of hilarious well edited video or f from someone who actually enjoys the game i don't know maybe that's, maybe that's a weird thought to have obviously the jokes are hilarious and i mean that's just mark's all content right he's a he's a comedian at heart don't forget to check the link in the pinned comment and in the description to make sure you go watch the original video as well the reason that i don't like uploading reaction videos on the same day is because i don't want to like take views away from the original creator uh, i prefer to at least wait 24 hours so the majority of the views have been gotten, you know, it's, I, I feel like it's the best thing to do. But yeah, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one.